I don't think either of you have kids. Ricky Tan, you got any kids? No, no kids yet. No, not yet. So this is just something that I always think of because I have a seven-year-old daughter and she sees me playing these games and she's getting to the age where, you know, she sees me playing a game and she's jumping in front of me. Oh, can I play? Can I play? And I'm just thinking like, is it like safe for kids to get into these ecosystems or maybe they should have their parent controlling their wallet and they just play. Um, But then I think like if you put just a small amount in for a kid and let them play the market they're gonna understand economics and it might be very beneficial for them in the real world as they get older let's pretend for a second you got some like 10 year old kids how are you handling it with uh with alluvium what do you what are you doing for them dude that's a scary thought because i remember being 10 years old and having a rune plate body in runescape and some guy was like, hey, I can trim your armor. And it adds like this cool gold aesthetic on them. No, I was like, yeah, sure, bro. You know what? Here, take my room plate, buddy. If you can trim it, I would appreciate that so much because it looks really cool. <laughs> and what happened is I traded him, this nice young fellow. And for I think his game glitched out, but his character disappeared. And I never saw him again. So what I'm saying here is 10-year-olds are very easily manipulated and to you could just steal all their crypto so easy like imagine how many links you clicked on as a kid and how yeah. many of these scams there are dude that is such a scary thought we have like if if we get a large portion of the player base that is in that age we have to be pumping out some kind of content or awareness that to keep people from getting uh keep these kids from getting scammed but even then it's like you know how the kids are they don't listen <laughs> First off, is that a true story? Yeah, I th- I think that it was probably the- happened no. to Ricky too. It was no, very it common. was the other way, Jimbo. You were the one trimming my armor. I no, you were, I, you I, were that guy. You stole I'm my to, armor. I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever scammed someone in a RuneScape. I probably no. have, but I don't remember it. No, but yeah, no, it happened to me all the time. I didn't know what trimmed armor was. I was free to play. That was an item that you get if you were paid, like. They can go on treasure trail, whatever. Uh, I forgot what they're called. Clue scrolls to get those items. So I, I didn't know what it was. I wanted it. Scam so many times. Yeah, or you just meet somebody on uh, Ventrilo or Skype, and they send you a link, and then you're like, "Wait, what happened to my internet?" And then you, your internet comes back, and you're trying to log in. You're like, "Why does it?" Say my account hasn't logged out. Oh, maybe it's still in the server. Give it a few minutes. You log in and wait, where did everything in my bank go? You know what I mean? Like these are real things that are going to, it's not even a question. This will happen. People will prey on children because they're pieces of shit. So we need to figure out a way to protect children. I 100% know for a fact there are going to be many children getting scammed and that's, we need to eliminate that as much as possible. It's tough because I know like, for me, I can teach my daughter doing it the right way. I start out when she's younger where I just let her play the game. Then I can slowly introduce her to how the market works and eventually get her to to a point where she knows what she's doing and won't fall for those scams and make those mistakes. But what about those kids that jump into Alluvium? They're 10 years old and their parents don't know anything about crypto. Yeah, You know, and they, they onboard something and maybe it's only a little bit of cash but maybe they go and they get that, they catch a ramp fire. It yeah. just happens to pop up in the overworld for them. So maybe their parents gave them a hundred bucks to go play, but now they're sitting on, you know, 10 grand worth of, of NFTs. Are they going to know what to do with that? Are they going to get scammed out easily? Especially if the, the parents can't teach them how to do it. I mean, I don't right. have an answer to that, but. Well, I mean, how do they pay their taxes? <laughs> like if they sell their ramp fire, how do they? do that <laughs> oh man well that's a whole other story just you know what i mean wow. it's crazy but but that's the thing i mean because the wallets are going to be not so relevant right it's play the game first you love it great then they'll introduce did you know that you actually own this and if you wanted mm-hmm. you could sell it if the parents don't know anything i mean kids are going to play whatever game they want like parents don't know what's going on like if, if you won't let them at your house they're going to play at their friend's house that's yep. just how it is 
18 plus game that doesn't stop them parents buy them get their kid whatever every every house is different every parent's different and i mean maybe not any of us i hope not but even us as adults we've been scammed in crypto we are targeted when there's money on the line somebody's going to be malicious and as jimbo said the kids are going to be the easy target they don't know what if someone gets a dark hollow ram fire they post it someone contacts them takes advantage of it and literally just takes it away from them i mean yeah. you tell a kid i'll give you a hundred bucks and a kid's probably just like a oh, hundred mm -hmm. bucks oh i want that right now i could play so much more alluvium and they don't know that the thing's worth you know five grand uh yeah, I don't know. I, I don't have a solution for that. It's I don't think there that, is one really. I like the only thing yeah. you can do is like make awareness as much as you can, but even yeah. you can Education. even shove it in front of their face, and sometimes they're still gonna do it. It just is what it is. And and if there's onboarding or connection to say a credit card to pay for the fuel to go in Overworld, right? The kids don't have it. It's gonna be parents. You've heard these disaster stories, like even. Uh, What's that game called? Uh, Candy Crush. Tens of thousands of dollars. Parents are like, what is this? There's no limit. And then if you have to put the money in, I mean, technically, like if you think of Fortnite, I think it's V-Bucks, right? You can buy the V-Bucks, load mm -hmm. them in. So there's preset funds. But what happens when they start selling stuff on the market and they start making a ton of money, right? Like imagine you go on and your daughter has like a hundred grand in her wallet. And then you just see her like go like just blow it all to buy oh my god i want this ram fire how are you gonna feel well that's what i'm saying like i'm gonna know what i'm doing so i'm gonna know how to approach it and take it step by step until she knows what she's doing and i think once she knows what she's doing and i give her those reins i think it is going to be beneficial for her in the real world she'll understand how these economies work but it's it's like the the kids that I get don't have that guidance. I know that sounds bad, but it, I just mean by like the parents who just don't understand crypto. Like that's what I'm more worried about. You know, I oh, like I'm not worried about my daughter. She's gonna be fine. By the time she gets control of her wallet, she's gonna know like what links not to click on to. If she's got a hundred grand, she's gonna know she needs to put that into something valuable and not just throw it away on a hundred two atlases, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Or a missed know. price atlas on the market. Yeah, that. Right? Yeah, she's gonna be like, <laughs> like nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine mm -hmm. ETH, or you know, something on the Aluvidex. I, I see plenty of those. Education, <laughs> like there, there's gonna be education for parents, education for yep. kids, and something that, in the middle for both. That's a great idea. Making sure we have that in place. Do we know if that's planned? Sorry, that's. <laughs> A little off topic, but councilman, we, we can talk it. We can talk about that after. But uh, on the flip yeah. side, I I know like we've been going long on this one, but something that excites me and is actually pretty cool is like the complete opposite happens. What if, dude? What if we see this eleven year old who's just like crazy good at the game? He's just crazy. He's winning all of the tournaments. He gets lucky. He finds a like dark hollow in the overworld. This dude's a millionaire from playing alluvium, like that. That. Like my, not hair, financial my hair is standing advice. up. Not, not, financial not financial advice. advice. <laughs> it's, it's, it's completely possible. No one ever makes a cent. Do not buy the token if you're scared. If you're scared, go to church. <laughs> um, But like, yeah, like what if like that's a thing? Like that sounds crazy too. Oh, there'll definitely be kids 10, 11 years old who are really good at this game. Like yeah. without a doubt. And, th and they'll be playing the ecosystem too. Like just like any other game. Like mm -hmm. I don't play too many other games, but like, I'm sure there's some 10 year olds that just are killing it at Fortnite. Uh, yeah. Like they'll be in the system. It's just hopefully they can figure out what they're doing and, you know, get that educational piece.